Hi there, my name is Kaylee. My name is Shay. And we're tackling some big debt. In the Big Apple. With some big groceries. Yes. No, that didn't work that good. I'm gonna leave it though. Happy Tuesday. Because this video is going to be going out later today, um, I'm gonna say for everyone in the tri-state area, congrats on the gorgeous 65 degree morning that we're having. So nice today. Oh, we are having just the best day. We because, already took a walk. Yeah. We got our little beverages. And then we decided to sit down with you this morning and talk through our grocery restock category. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to mm -hmm. tell the story of the grocery restock category since you were its number one enemy? I wouldn't say I was its number one enemy. I would say that I, before the July grocery challenge, was unwilling to expand our grocery budget further because I felt that $125 a week was and should be plenty. And my whole thing was that I just wanted to, you know, leave whatever we didn't spend week over week in the grocery category and then use that money when we wanted to go to Costco and get a bunch of the things that we know we'll eat a lot of. So like meat that we put in the freezer and then use over, you know, the course of like a month or six weeks or however much. And like we get a big thing of crackers and we know that'll last a while and we like to have that with our lunches and all of that stuff. And then during, that was a point of contention. That was a point of contention it was. Um, and then during the July grocery challenge, we actually had a fairly easy time, you know, like if we committed to we really actually put our minds to it, thinking about spending $75 a week on groceries in New York City, that we were able to do it without much um, sacrifice. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Thank you very much. Without much sacrifice. And so. What we decided would be the best thing to do at the end of the month was to kind of meet in the middle about our philosophies on groceries. So we didn't actually add any extra money in order to make this grocery restock category. Um, we just kind of reprioritized the dollars. Yes. In a way, I think that made sense for our brains. Yeah. And so actually, we can just look at it. Yeah. We don't need to be all nebulous about it. We can just look at it. It's mm -hmm. the joy of the budget. Let's go into September mm -hmm. so we can see it prior to being filled up. So mm -hmm. prior to our July grocery challenge, it was one twenty five a week every Friday for groceries because we go grocery shopping on Friday mm -hmm. usually. Um, so what all we did was reallocate those funds to differently named categories. Now we have $100 a week every Friday for groceries because mm -hmm. we still go grocery shopping pretty much every Friday. Yeah. But in addition, we've got $25 a week going into a grocery restock category. Mm -hmm. so, so it's it's the exact same amount of money. Yep. Just we're giving those dollars that we had originally just like nebulously planned on not spending until we go to Costco. We gave them a job. We a gave them a job. place to live. We gave them a, just a different name, yep. truly. What were your fears about this category? Oh, my fear was that we were going to steal from it to cover overspending constantly. Which we did. My my thing to counteract that fear is my it's less for me it's less about putting the twenty five dollars every week and letting it roll and more about like the target following this one you know so like the the target is a hundred dollars we just went to Costco we're not mm -hmm. going to go to Costco probably the first week of September but when we are ready to go a hundred dollars would be the target mm -hmm. and then we would fund it and spend from it that way. Yeah. Um, so this has been the first like full round of groceries and we've got a pretty good grocery system down at this point. We do. And this is the first time that we went to buy things in bulk with the grocery category in place. Mm -hmm. And I, we felt almost silly with how happy it made us, I would say. But you know what? Let's look at it first because we decided to take you guys with us to Costco and I have never felt sillier than filming in Costco. Yeah. <clears throat> but you know what? It is what it is. And we wanted you guys to come with us so you can see all the things we bought. Yep. And all the things that Shay had to rein me in on. Yeah. Roll the tape. No. No. No.
So that was our haul. That was our haul. We did our Costco right. haul. I think we did a really good job. Um, I think we also, as much as I as I joke and play and want to get other things, um, I think we're pretty good at sticking to a list. Yes. Um, even though actually some of those things that were on there were not on our list. Nope. Um, grape seed oil wasn't on the list. Yep, and Ivy neither Kerman wasn't on the list. Nope, and neither was the Kerrygold cheese. Neither was the Kerrygold cheese was yep. not on our list, but it still fit within the grocery stock budget mm -hmm. because the budget is just twenty five dollars a week that we would normally spend on groceries, yeah. and so all of that stuff is going to last us a month probably. Yeah. So by the time the next time we go grocery stock, and actually a lot of it's going to actually last more than a month. Mm -hmm. Like the ibuprofen is going to last us the rest of this year. Um, yeah. The shampoo is going to last the rest of this year. Yeah. Grape seed oil is going to last two months minimum. Yeah. Minimum, like, really, like, minimum. Probably three or four. And that's the point, right, is that we wanted to mm -hmm. be able to, when we were going week over week and just saying, well, we just won't spend the grocery money. That's a silly thing. You're going to spend the grocery. If it's in the yeah. category for spending, you're going to spend it. And just letting it roll with that name wasn't, wasn't driving with our brains. Mm -hmm. Whereas this allowed us to go and spend on the things that we needed to get and the things that we will use. Mm -hmm. We we have a small snack plate with crackers, cheese, and produce and stuff like every single day for lunch. Yeah. The crackers and cheese that we bought are going to last weeks. The price was better, which yes. again, Costco, I love you. Yeah. It's going to last weeks and saved us money. Yeah. And we were able to do that without having to just like hope that it fit into our grocery budget. Mm -hmm. And that especially hits when it comes to things like that oil and meat. Mm -hmm. Meat is a big one because the price at Costco is decent. It's not always better, but the freedom of having all of the proteins that we normally consume just ready available yeah. already in individually packaged size bags. Mm -hmm. And we're able to just pull from the freezer and just like take that weight off of our brains that's a game changer. Yeah. That makes us cook at home more. Yes, I would definitely say so. Yeah. So, so even if we didn't technically save money on the meat itself, it saves us money in the long term when we're like, well, we have mm -hmm. all this stuff at home. We need to cook it at home. We have, we have ground beef. We have chicken thighs. We have sausage. Like mm -hmm. We have many options, so we don't feel the need to go out as often. And I also think it's helping us not overspend because we have a set dollar amount that we can keep in our brains and we know that when we go to Costco that is enough to cover our usual grocery list for Costco plus one other item maybe two other items yeah we can get something a little frisky yeah and and so I think that's nice because it helps us not go overboard yeah. with with things that aren't on the list because we don't have a number in our heads so it's it been all, good yeah it takes the pressure off the regular yeah. week too because we can say we have a hundred dollars to spend and i don't need to like artificially subtract from that to account yeah. for the fact that we're going to costco next week and we're going to spend eighty dollars and i like yeah the goal is always to do no math in our brains the, the the less math we have to do no brain math the better our finances are going to be yeah i take i say this about all things i think it's about investments and groceries and all the things i want to take my human brain out of it my human brain is flawed and i love her and she's doing a good job and she is occupied with so many other things there's a lot of other stuff that that my brain needs to think about so taking my brain out of things yeah. is the biggest gift i've given myself this year yeah and takes like stress out of my day to day and that is always the goal mm -hmm. so i love this yeah i, I think it's happy. great it's going quite well so far and also it felt like we went to costco for free a little bit. Because we budgeted for it and we, we spent yeah. from the budget. Mm -hmm. We actually came in under budget in the grocery part. Yeah. And it we were like, oh, it was free. We were doing like a little dance in the Costco parking lot and everyone was looking at us like... Because it was free. We spent we spent no money. Mm -hmm. Even though we spent $133 or whatever, because it was budgeted for, it felt free. It's girl math. It's girl math. I set the money aside, which means it didn't cost me anything. Yeah. It, <laughs> it felt... There was no guilt Mm -hmm. and spending the money yes and actually because we we spent less than we set aside we maybe even made money <laughs> we spend, made money for we spent three dollars on hot dogs and sodas mm -hmm. and it was like date it was like a date i wouldn't go that far. <laughs> all right so that's how grocery stock is working for us i know a few people said that they were trying the grocery stock category so let us know how that went for you if you've, yeah. if, you have, if you've gone on your first big restock trip. If you've got trip. some uh, personal anecdotes to add, leave them yeah. in the comments. Because we loved it. We had yeah. a great time. And that's all from us about grocery restock. Yeah. I'm so happy that we made that change. Me too. All right. That's all from us. Have 
a wonderful rest of your week. And we will see you on Friday, but I don't know in what capacity because we have a friend who's going to be here. So oh, yes. We'll have to figure it out. Yeah. But we'll, we'll just do a whispering and ASMR budget in our bedroom. <clears throat> Welcome to Just Finance. We're here to budget our paycheck. Okay. Okay. That's all from us. Have a good day. Have a good week. Go outside. Yes.